Welcome back, Aloy. When you're ready, please merge Ether with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia? That's one of the subfunctions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone, or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, and what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. All right. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. <sighs> Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. takes the keg. Burl, see if there's anything over there? On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. It's a long way down. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called... the asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. 
That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. Skins like ice. Must have cut this from her head. But why? Hello, hello, Miss Fitch. Uh, apologies, I don't know what else to call you. Um, my name is Beta. I'm afraid I must be brief. I only have a few minutes before my keepers discover I'm missing, and I still need to remove this implant. I had hoped to find shelter with you, but if you're viewing this, I, I may be dead. Be careful when you take on Farsiness. They are ruthless, and they have a Lucia, Artemis, and Apollo now. But at least I don't have the Gaia Colonel to march them with. Still alive. We need to get her back to. Oh shit, they can fly. Aloy. Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Erend? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. I'll protect her. I should prepare before the Spectre gets here. I can't let it get through to Varl and the clone. Here it comes! Seals in. It's got me pinned down. Hang tight. I'm almost there. Just hurry. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I gotta get to Erend.
Errand, I'm here. Watch out. That thing's shooting down the center. Stay put. I'll see what I can do. But the second you need me, I'm there. Spectre's not budging from that spot. I won't be able to sneak up on it if I stay out of its line of fire. She's... Look, I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for, then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. No. Damn it. Well, it's better than nothing. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh, it's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. So, uh, Aloy. I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? 
But let's start the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior, they wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet, and now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you're... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Gaia and I concluded too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they... butchered. The tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so... I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs, or... So how long? You know, your, your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Gaia's is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Gaia is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! You didn't even know who the Zenus really are. You were supposed to be further along by now! Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything. Everyone. I'm gonna die. Hey. Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. Errand? You okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't I be? Because there's two of me now. Hey, there's two of you now! Well, at least you seem to be handling it okay. <sighs> I wouldn't say that exactly, but I'm trying. What are you working on with your focus? I'm still figuring out how to read stuff on this thing. Those two lovebirds over there have been giving me a hand. But to be honest, all the little symbols, they give me a headache. But I'll get up to speed, I promise. Did you speak with Beta at all? She didn't really wake up till we brought her here. And when she did, I, I thought it'd be better if Zoe and Varl took care of her. No use crowding someone when they're in a state. What are you reading next? I saw Gaia added something to the archives about metal rods being used to harness lightning during storms. Guy reminded me of a cousin of mine. Thought he could trap lightning if he covered himself in Stormbird plates. Went up the tallest mountain in the claim to prove it. 
It ended like a lot of Asaram things do. With a spark and a boom. I have to get going. Don't go causing too much trouble. Aloy. I see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment. I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced. Comparable to Zenith technology. But not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not gonna cooperate with us? Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenus got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right.